Okay, now on page 288, um, you need to practice your male merge from different documents. Now the problems that I'm finding is actually male merging from text and RTF documents. And I've done a bit of research online and there's a lot of people that say it's not possible really to do it in um, uh, to do it in Microsoft Word, but I may have to do more research on that possibly. Um, but obviously what's quite important and it's more like more than likely going to come up probably in your exam is actually mail merging um, from a database and mail merging from a query. Okay, so we're going to go through um, those. Now the mail merge is, is generally qu quite straightforward as you know. Okay, so um, what I've done is um, copied the files from the CD onto my desktop and I'd recommend you to do the same. Okay, so if you get the files, get the folder from chapter 18 and copy it straight onto your desktop um, or into your um, area that you save. Okay, um, because it can have problems when actually uh, mail merging from the database. So, as you can see the document here, so it says, open the master document, CD18.08, um, um, new class, and link each of the following data sources one at a time by finishing it and linking it from the query to the database. So that doesn't mean to say for each thing you've got to do a different document. Um, basically, Start from 1803, then repeat the exercise for 04, then 05, 06, and 07. Um, but as I said, there is a problem with 04 and 05. So um, now to mail merge, quite simple. Go to select recipients, use existing list. I'm going to go straight to my um, desktop because that's where I've saved my documents. Go down to 18. And um, this it has problems with, um, so I'm just going to skip this. So I'm going to go on to 1806, um, the Excel file. And you can see there's multiple sheets there. So you need to select the sheets um, that you require. Now, I need, so what I made a mistake of not doing was looking. So I'm going to look first. Okay, so this is where, like I said, you always need to double check these documents and uh, check what's in them and get to know them. Otherwise, you don't know what you're doing, really. So, 1806. It's locked for editing, obviously, because I've already, I'm already opening it, so I'm just gonna go read only, which is fine. Wait for it to open. So we've got sheet one, which is students here, or students. Then we've got sheet one. Sheet two, and you can see these sheets are blank. Okay, that could happen in your exam. Now I know all the details are on students. I'm going to select students. Okay, so I'm going to go back. Here we are, students. I'm selecting that. Press OK. Now for name and surname. So obviously, oops, 14% battery. So I'm going to highlight and I'm going to select forename. Then I'm going to select surname. And it says, remember from September, sorry, from September forename. So that means basically a name's got to go now. So always read the documents. Always read them. And it's not that difficult. We'll be in class, class, and you can see the highlighted class there. Um, sorry, the italic class right there. And I'm going to select class. Their teacher will be teacher. So I'm going to select that. So I don't have teacher here. Okay, so that's a problem. So maybe I've got to get that from another document. So I'm going to check that out because obviously I need to know the teacher's name because uh, I have to merge it. So, as you can see, we've got um, their teacher will be teacher. Now, you can see I don't have that field. So, as I said, always look through the documents all the time. So, if I go onto one of my other documents, such as the database one, if I take a look at that, you can see I've got tables here. Okay, so you can go to class, and then there's student, and then there's teacher. Okay. Right, so what I'm going to do is looking at the query. 
So um, I'm going to go select recipients, go to existing list, and then I'm going to go to my desktop. Um, where I saved my chapter 18 files, go to 1807, then it gives me a choice of what table I want to select again. So I'm going to select Query Student Teacher. So I'm going to highlight this. And then I'm going to select Teacher. So now when I actually preview the results, you can see that I've got name James Carr will be 9B and his teacher will be Mr. Bleak. So if we go through, 9B Javid will have Mr. Bleak, 9F Mr. Frost. So it looks like that's matching up because it's got the query there. Okay, so that is basically how we do it. So in your exam, there's a possibility you may have three documents, one master document, maybe one table with names, addresses, and so on, on, and there may be one with a query in it, okay? But as we go forward, we're going to look at um, uh, merging using conditional operators and creating if statements, okay?